AT&T sets iPhone FaceTime policies clear. The first HTC M7 images get leaked, and the LG Nexus 5 and 7.7 .7 reach rumor mill. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering if even Apple employees use FaceTime these days. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Ah, the HTC M7, waited by many, and that even includes HTC with all their recent issues. We all know that the device will be sporting a 4.8 inch display that has 1080p resolution, but nobody really knew what the device looked like. We have the first rendered images of the device, and apparently it doesn't look that pretty in photos, but if you remember the HTC One X when leaked looked really ugly until we actually held the device in our hands. It turned out to be a beautiful device, and we are expecting this device to rock MWC 2013, so wait a a couple of weeks our guys are going to be there and they will have the hands-on coverage that you're waiting for. Now for those of you that actually use FaceTime that does not include me, AT&T has just come clear officially on who can actually use the service. You know that everybody complained because in the past you pretty much had to move into a family shared data plan in order to use the service and now they've officially confirmed that anybody with a tiered data plan can use it as well. But there's always a catch and the bad news is that if you're grandfathering an old unlimited data plan you will not be eligible to use the data plan or to use FaceTime for that matter. But what did you expect? I mean, typically AT&T wants you off the service anyway, so most likely you will have to move to tiered. Now, some recent leaks from Samsung itself show that the company is working on a 6.3 inch display Galaxy Note 3. And just think about it, I mean, the Galaxy Note 2 and the Galaxy Note were ginormous themselves. I don't think you could even consider a 6.3 inch display device a phablet. That's pretty much a tablet if you think about it, but rumors have it that this device will be sporting Samsung's new Exynos 5 Octa processor. And hopefully we will not have to wait until the fall to get the device, but we'll keep you posted. Now, Sony is now offering six weeks of free games in their PlayStation Mobile Store for eligible devices, which include certain Sony devices and certain HTC devices that are certified. But sadly, this deal has a catch. They'll give you one free game every week, but sadly, if you're not in Japan, Australia, the UK, or certain countries, and for details on those countries, there are links down below, you won't be able to get these games. As if Sony was really going well in the United States, shouldn't it be the other way around? Anyways. And finally for the, oh no, not again, news of the day, we have LG apparently working on the Nexus 5 and Nexus 7.7 .7 for this year. Yeah, that company that can barely meet demands for the Nexus 4, apparently that's going to be Google's new partner for the next Nexus lineup, which is terrible news if you consider how bad things have been for the Nexus 4. And don't get me wrong, I mean, the Optimus G is a great device, the Nexus 4 is a, it's a good device, but sadly if they were able to meet demands, we really wouldn't complain so that leads me to the question of the day which company would you prefer built the next nexus lineup in my case i actually preferred samsung and asus dealing with this but leave us a comment down below i have nothing against lg again it's just their timing and if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw i'm jaime rivera again with the craziest cold ever from vegas but we'll see you tomorrow